There's Astrid standing by live with a full look at your forecast where everything is comparatively just fine. It's lovely here right now. <laughs> everything is just fine as far as our weather goes. Uh, we've got just a few clouds in the sky right now through downtown Victoria. We will see a few clouds rolling in overnight tonight, but nothing major. Lows around 13 degrees, so mild for us once again. For tomorrow, a forecast high of about 22 degrees. So that's right where we want to be this time of year, although not quite as warm as what we saw earlier today. We reached 24 today through downtown. Our record was set in 1941 at 33 Point three. Here's a look at your temperatures right now with your live school net weather sensors. Savory Elementary at 26.8. Lovely there at this hour. And it is nice and warm at Keating Elementary at 25.3. So that's a look at just how warm it is right now. It was a little bit warmer uh, earlier in the day. What's going on? We have this high uh, ridge of high pressure that is strong and it remains just offshore. Watching a couple of low pressure areas, though, one off the Gulf of Alaska here. And as the week progresses, we are going to see that affect our forecast likely into Thursday. And then again, we have a bit of a disturbance coming our way for the weekend. But all in all, nothing really major in the way of rain, but we do certainly have some showers in the forecast coming up. For tonight, Port Hardy, we're looking at partly cloudy skies once again overnight with some fog developing and winds again through exposed sections of the north end of the island. Nice and warm 15 degrees for the east coast of the island, although you're expecting a few clouds overnight tonight. Much of the same through the Nanaimo and Parksville Qualicum areas. Port Alberni, 15 degrees for you with a little bit of uh, cloud and fog developing overnight. Pretty foggy along the west coast once again, 13 degrees through Tofino. You're going to see that fog for another couple of days. And for the South Island, we're looking at temperatures into the double digits once again. A few clouds, winds at the Juan de Fuca Strait picking up this evening as they already have done so through the Victoria area. We've noticed those. You'll see those windy conditions first thing in the morning if you're at the waterfront. Tomorrow, highs to 22 degrees through downtown. A little bit cooler in, in the Sydney area at 19. We'll see 16 out towards Souk with a mix of sun and clouds. So these temperatures aren't quite as warm as we've experienced over the last couple of days, but still quite nice for us. 21 through Duncan, a few clouds here and there, mainly sunny through Lake Cowichan and over to Salt Spring Island. You've got a beautiful day on the way as well at 22. Through the Nanaimo area, uh, you're looking at 23. Not quite as warm as today's afternoon high, which was around 27. Still quite nice. For the West Coast, a lot of that fog and cloud should clear before uh, we get too far into the afternoon, but it'll stick around for the morning. 15 degrees for you, 26 through Port Alberni. Lovely and sunny for the most part. Fog clearing throughout the morning and afternoon. Campbell River, Courtney Comox, your highs up to 23 degrees as well with that mix of sun and clouds. And as we continue on up to the north end of the island, uh, mainly clear skies through Gold River and Sayward, 17 through Port Hardy. Most of that fog and cloud sticking around for the morning, clearing up in the afternoon. The rest of BC for tomorrow. We're going to see quite nice conditions in Vancouver and up to Powell River. Over to Kamloops and Kelowna highs into the 30s. Prince George, we're looking at 26 degrees with a slight chance of showers. Now over the next seven days, here's what you need to know. We have a pretty decent forecast as far as temperatures go in Victoria, but a slight chance of showers coming Thursday and again Saturday for the Mid-Island. Thursday and Saturday, those are the days you'll probably need an umbrella, but next week warming up again well into the 20s, the high 20s in fact. And for the North Island, you get a little more of an overcast day on Thursday with the showers really coming in on Friday, rain on Saturday, but all in all a fairly dry seven days straight ahead.